Katie, which one was Earth? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Zoe means life, and tsuke means it can be translated soul, among other things. Can anyone guess what Irene? Irene means peace. Peace. Yeah. Phrases. Do you know anyone named Irene? Really? They changed Irene? his surname to make it. Really? <laughs> yeah. His mom says Irene, and that's how I know it. Because that's where it comes from. Well, I thought it was quite funny they changed his surname. My, my, my name means, surname means peace already. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it's Another prominent word is the word tikkaiosune. Following that phony paradigm, and it means justification or righteousness. Can anyone guess what agape means? <laughs> love. And that also follows the same paradigm. So, if you want to say love, the love, you say hey agape. If you want to say of the love, you say taste agapes. If you want to say, um, to the love, te agape. You want to say, of the loves, tone agapon. So that there's a, that's how you use the, the chart to, uh, to form the various forms of the word. Okay, now these pages can serve as charts to help you in the exercise on page 16. Let's take a look at what's there before we get into these examples. I'm going to do a couple of them and then I'm going to ask you if we may come back to it later on uh, in, the, uh, in the time that we have. Just do a couple of these as, as examples. The first Tice glossize. Now, how do you do it? First of all, you look at that definite article. That is going to be your key. Uh, it's going to explain some things already to start out with. First of all, Tice is a dative plural definite article. So, you know already that the form of the word you're going to find is a dative plural form. Now you also need to know, however, what the gender is. And since we've already found that Tice is not a, a perfect clue identifying which gender it is, because uh, in the second declension nouns, Tice is always feminine, but in first declension nouns, it can be masculine or feminine. Yeah. So how do we do, do it? Well, we have to go back, go to the word. Go to the fourth dictionary, look up the word and find and you'll find glossa as a doxa paradigm word. That gives you the clue as to what the, the uh, endings are going to be. So we look here at the doxa paradigm, and we look for tice, and the ice ending, glossa ice, tice, glossa ice, that is the uh, feminine data plural. J.D., you mentioned something about the masculine. Is it first declension in the datives? Plurals are the same? Because you said it wouldn't help knowing the gen by the gender. You'd have to look at how... No, second uh, in the second declension. In the second declension. The, all of the first declension nouns, both both masculine and feminine, have ties as their... Well, okay, in page 14, you have choice. Yeah, that's a masculine. Okay, because you're saying masculine. Oh, okay. That's a definite article. Okay, so what, I, what I meant to say was that the inflected endings are all the same. Oh, okay. Set. The ice, the I, on, so ice, it, us right, is the same across the board in the plurals okay. for all of the first declensions. The definite article obviously does change. 
um, in masculine and, and feminine. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out. But I, if I make that error, please, uh, it won't be the first. <laughs> So let's take a look at, at again, our form, ties, glossis, that we've identified as feminine, native, plural, of glossa. So we're ready to translate. Dative, we're usually going to translate with the preposition to. This for classroom purposes. And genitive, we'll tra tra translate with of. And since it's plural, then... The, tr the phrase will be translated to the tongues. Now let's look at the second example. Tain basalayan. Okay. Once again, we go to our paradigms. We look for basalaya, and it is a Hemera paradigm. Go to the Hemera paradigm chart and look for Tain Basalayan. Accusative singular. Feminine accusative singular of Basalayan. Translation then. I'm sorry. The kingdom. The kingdom, the kingdom yes. Okay, so that's the process you use, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll leave you with that to uh, um, enjoy. <laughs> it's a little homework assignment. We may come back to it, but what I wanted to do for the rest of the time, uh, to start out with anyway, is I wanted to start to us to look at some examples in the text. And these, these passages contain some of the words that we've been looking at. They also contain other words that we haven't had, so I'm going to have to walk.